So I want to start this function by saying being good, being respectful, having good thoughts about other people, putting yourself in the shoes of other people, especially students, putting the, your, yourself in your parents' shoes, what they do to get you in school, putting yourself in your teacher's shoes for the roles that they play. They look after their families, they look after their children, then they come and look after you. Today I was asked a question by media during our ministry holy celebration. What is your thoughts about children who misbehave or behave in a disorderly manner in school buses and stuff? I said, well, that's a question that we should ask the parents. Because the values, your head of school mentioned values. The values that you bring to any institution is learned where? At home. So that's why we want parental engagement. Values education actually supersedes any other education. This is formal education that you are getting. And where do we get our values from? We get it from our culture. And today what we are celebrating? We are celebrating our unique cultural identity as Fijians. Most of you may not celebrate Holi. But the message that Holi brings to us, or the message that any cultural event brings to us, Easter will be celebrating next week. We will be celebrating Easter. And as we go along the calendar year, Every month, every now and then, there are certain cultural activities that take place. And all of these activities teach us what? Our beliefs in our, our God, who we believe in. All these teach us about being good, being respectful, being kind. So what do we eventually want to achieve by involving school children in such activities? You know, Monday your school would be closed, eh? A lot of schools around the country will be closed, a lot of teachers, families, non, those uh, groups that don't even celebrate holy, those teachers belonging to different faiths, will all stay home. Use the time to reflect on why our culture is so important. Our culture basically shapes who we are, what we believe in. And if you study the cultures that we have around us, all these cultures talk about being good, Holy talks about removing the evil that we have. So how, do we, uh, how are we evil? You might ask me. You might say, no, I'm a good person. I pray. I, I pray to my gods. I feed my animals. I look after my parents. I study hard. I respect my teachers. So how am I bad? Evil comes from thinking bad. Evil comes from thinking evil. Your actions could be evil. Your thoughts could be evil. For example, you have a smart student in class who always tops the class. I'm sure all of you want to be like that person. You say, okay, so let me see how I defeat this kid. That, 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 it, it's been proven that every human being has this quality. Evil is inherent. You and I cannot deny that. I can't deny that. It comes. But holy teaches us to let go of that. Even if something happened, yes, let go of it. You hurt somebody, go ask forgiveness, move on. You did wrong to somebody, go admit it. You know, I hid your homework and the teacher punished you. I stole your pen and you didn't have a pen. I was hungry and I stole your lunch. I'm sure the other person will forgive you. So this festival asks us actually to cleanse ourselves. That's why you, the, the Hindu students, you know that you burn holika, right? When you burn holika, what are you doing? You are burning the evil out of you. Well, I'm not saying you go burn something <laughs> or yourself or something. I'm just saying it's a symbol of letting the evil go out of you. So the next day, what happens? You have good thoughts. Go say hello to your neighbors. There's an old sickly gentleman in your neighborhood. Nana, can I help you? Oh, Grandma, can I, can I cut the grass for you? Something like that. These are small deeds that we humans can do for those that we live with, for those that we walk with, for those we communicate with in school here. A lot of issues coming in school, bullying. Where does this come from? I don't understand. How can a child learn to be a bully? That's the question I'm trying to do. And uh, MC, you forgot to say I'm a student too. I'm still a student, right? I'm still learning. I'm trying to learn why people behave the way they behave. Still trying to understand 
how can people be so cruel and how can people be so bad that they want to inflict harm on somebody, pain on somebody, through actions. Sometimes we have positions. I mean, the school system, head boys, head girls, HODs, APs, VPs, principals. You need to be fair. You need to treat everybody fairly, regardless of who we are. Some of us have straight hair, some of us have curly hair, some of us are black, some of us are brown, some of us are white. It doesn't have to do with physical looks. It has to be with what's here. Get that? We should not discriminate. We should not discriminate against anybody. Holy is that for me. Holy is trying to make me a better person what I am today. If I really believe in Holy, I should be a, even a better person. I've always been attracted to this festival. I've always been. When I was a little kid, I used to colour those chalk that you have. Just collect all those small chalks in the classroom. We don't use chalks now. You know the small coloured chalks? I would pick it up, I would pick it up and I would grind it because we couldn't afford to buy colour, we couldn't afford, very poor. So this festival has a lot of meaning for me and if you look at me, I've enjoyed myself from morning, starting from parliament to the ministry and, and now, and it's not going to complete till I probably go to bed. Enjoy, enjoy every opportunity that comes your way. Enjoy being a student. These days will not come back. You have to study now, study, believe me. Ten years down the line, you could be at the podium like me or you could be one of the heads of an institution. Or anyway, And that's what we want for you. That's why education has inculcated culture. Right? Maybe right now you don't understand why I'm saying that. Say, oh, why do I care what happened? But you have to. We talked about Fiji being a very unique country. Right now we are going through a lot of challenges. You, it may not be impacting you. Your lunch is there, your food is there, the power is there, the uh, water is there. You don't, you don't understand right now. And maybe you don't have to understand. We adults are there. Your parents are there. Your teachers are there. Your guardians are there. All we ask for you is to don't lose this opportunity. We spend millions and millions of dollars to put you in school, to assist your parents so that they their earnings is for your family. We take care of most of your needs in the school. It was not there before. Go ask your grandparents. When you went to school, what happened? They will tell you the hardships they had. So here is an opportunity for you to forge a very good career path for yourself, to forge a very good future for yourself. And that's what we expect from you. That's why we say, all you've got to be is a good human being, a good person. You know what the word empathetic means? You put yourself in somebody's shoes and say, why? And that's for the teachers. If you have students who are notorious, if you have students who don't do their homework, please find out why. I've had some cases coming to see. Right now my project is to put all the street children back in school. That's what I've decided to do. So I'm meeting with these children, I'm meeting with the parents. I have a team here who does that. We managed to secure some funding. Why are these children not going to school? And one or two said, we had discipline cases and we were asked to find another school. So when you ask as an admin, when you ask a child to find another school, find out why was the child doing that? The, the, the future of the children is in your hands. How you treat the children. Some, teaching, some students also came up with some horrific stories of what happened in schools and why they don't want to go back to school. So that's what I'm trying to learn as well. Adult action, adult behavior, whether it's your parents, whether it's your elder brothers and sisters, whether it's your teachers, has a lot of impact on your young mind. You are the young generation who will be responsible for taking this country forward. God knows what challenges we're going to have. COVID-19 has basically shaken us to core. We never thought something like this could come and affect us. Small island nation. We were happy. Economy was progressing well. Everything was tourism, people coming in, we going out. Things was fine. Until, until one day, something like COVID-19 came along. So what can come tomorrow? We don't know. So you have got to be prepared 
to lead this country forward. All, all your staff and me probably will, will be gone in the next five, ten years. Look after your health, very important. Concentrate on your studies, very important. Maintain your identi identity and culture, very important. Score good grades in your exam, very important. There's a lot of opportunities that we have for you. Right? Now, coming back to Holi. Holi is about colors. Now, what does it signify? All different colors, when they merge together, what happens? They become a very, very beautiful rainbow. Eh? Have you seen the colors of the rainbow? We, the people of Fiji, have brighter colors than that. Brighter colors than that. Right? And you are part of that color wheel, I would say. Your bright smiles, the future that we have planned for you, your innocence. Very innocent minds. I don't know. Could be very evil, but, but innocence. I see you as very innocent. My kids grew up. I, didn't, I don't even know how fast they grow, grew up. Today they are all walking and stuff. And I wish, as a parent, I had done more for them in terms of, but they are good people. I can say they are good girls, right? Pillar four of the National uh, Curriculum Framework talks about parental engagement. Teachers are your parents here. And I would request to you, show them the same respect that you show to your biological parents. Your future, they also have a part to play. I take it very seriously when we have cases of students showing disrespect. If you can't respect your teachers, I don't know how far you're going to go in life. Right? Take it as from one teacher to another teacher and one student to another student. We are never too grown to know we know everything. My kids sometimes tell, Mom, your time's gone. We do things differently. You're technocentric people, huh? Your phones and your cameras and your... I don't know, I don't even know what all these things are. It's good. That's the way forward for you. But on top of all that, values such as respect and hard work should never, never go out of your life. You have a school's image and reputation to uphold. Very, very nice school, probably one of the best settings around, away from all the hustle and bustle of the city life. Very, and I'm sure your set of teachers are equally good. I recognize a few, some of my colleagues. I taught with them. So I can assure you, you have some of the best people here. Right? I'm not trying to prime up so some, somebody in the audience is giving me this big smile. I know you, he's telling me, I know you're talking about me. So that's how it is, children, right? So you are, you are here. You know, yeah, I always go, I don't know where I go. I want to tell you that next, next month, uh, Ritesh, Culture Day is when? May. In May, we are organizing a Culture Day. That's the day we, we mark the various cultures. <laughs> And today, I'd like to extend an invitation, Madam Principal and members of the management, for your school to participate in that. The various cultural displays you can come up with. You can start with dancing. That's a whole day program. We want the stage to be full. Your traditional dancers, the modern dancers. As I see, there's a group of students you can do wonders there. We'll try and see how best we can reward you. So mark that day in your calendar. Start preparing for it. And I'd love to see your thing there, multiculturalism, whatever you can portray about the Fijian culture. So that's the first school that's actually got that invitation. Okay? And uh, so, let me just end. I don't know what they wrote for me. Uh, let me just end up with this. Appreciate the fact that we live in a country that is diverse. Appreciate the fact that there are things that we do here that doesn't happen in other countries. I've traveled the world. And I've never seen a respect, a, a tradition that respects the chief guest. You put a garland around the person, and you do your arti and do all those things. Very unique in that. I haven't seen salu salu worn anywhere. So different countries don't, don't, don't have this thing, envy, for people in other countries. Appreciate the fact that we belong to this nation. Challenges, troubles, problems will come and go. But with, with positive thoughts, we will overcome that. Remember that, right? Believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. And 
dream for the best future that you want to have. I never thought one day I would get to travel places, meet people, learn about different countries, make policies, manage government funds. I never dreamed about that. Never. I was happy being a school teacher. I'm telling you, when opportunities come, grab it with both arms. Opportunities will be very few. But make yourself in such a manner that when that opportunity comes to you, grab it and do justice to that. It will require a lot of sacrifice. It will require a lot of hard work. It will require sleepless nights. You just don't think about yourself. You just think about how you're going to put your contribution towards your nation. And it starts with being good students, good leaders in schools. Right? The future is very bright for you people. We don't know when this COVID will go away. We are here to look after you. So every dollar that we spend on you, on your free education, please make sure you utilize it well. I went to school when my mom had to work and collect fees and then pay the fees. And on numerous occasions we were sent, like basically chased out of schools because we didn't pay fees. And that's a fact. That's a fact. We had to pay fees every term. Lab fees, library fees, this fees, that fees. And our poor parents couldn't pay it. Even tertiary institutions, no money. So we walked and then we went and walked and then saved a little bit. We came the hard way. We're giving you the easy way. All we want from you is 100% commitment and dedication. Don't do anything that's going to bring disrepute to your uniform, to your parents. I'm very disappointed with children who are actually doing all this disorderly thing in zones and everything like that. Very disappointing. But then I understand everybody is different. You get carried away with these sporting activities. You get carried away with your schools, winning and competition. Well, we want everybody to be safe. So if you are going out from schools on competition, excursions, field trip, you carry that badge. You carry the name of your school the name of the various other students that have gone across, right? You might say, oh, she spoiled our holy for us. But anyways, you never give us that opportunity. So, holy, be good. If the community is getting together to burn the holy car, go join them, right? Help your parents make lots of sweets, share. I remember, I grew up in a Muslim family and the plastic I used to carry to my khaki's house next door. Khaki, can we have some sweets? And khaki would put, put some gulgula in that plastic. That was enough for me. And then all these mandalis would come and sing and I would sit there and play. And my mom used to beat me up. Well, not really beat me up, but tell me off. That, that, that's not for us. So, so what's not for us? You know, sometimes we have these views, oh, this is for that group, this is for that group. That is for everybody. And I don't know who's the first region to have this, but I think it's me. <laughs> I don't know. And it felt so good. I kick-started Holy Celebration. And may the good Lord bless us with uh, much, much more colors to be filled in our lives. Good luck and good fortune and progress be all yours this year and for the many, many more years to come. So God bless you and happy holy.